Hello, my name is Franklin Gibson Day, and today I'm doing my persuasive speech on school shootings and how I believe that teachers and students should be able to carry guns on school property. Uh, it is something that is passionate to me because I go to school, so I would like to protect myself if somebody were to have a school shooting on school campuses. Uh, today in my audience, I have my brother and my father is behind the camera. Um, so yes, let me begin. So, if we go off of what credibility I do have. My credibility is that I own a gun. I own a shotgun. It is a 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun and it is currently unloaded. I have opened the chamber for you uh, and there is no rounds in it and I keep a trigger lock on it for child safety and my brother's safety and me. Um, I also keep it locked up in the house and I do not let anybody touch it other than me and my father which I'm the only person that would use it. Uh, so yes, um, I have had a lot of political differences with my family, myself, and a few other people, um, and it shows. And we live in a southern state, which means that there's a lot less gun laws and a lot less gun laws than the north. For example, if we go off of Chicago, Chicago's crime rate was tremendously high after they enacted their bill to ban guns and then they lifted their bill which proceeded to drop the crime rate and as you can see there was a massive spike in crime rate after the bill was enacted they banned guns uh, handguns to be specific and those handguns didn't help they they only made it worse people found a way to get illegal guns around it and everything and this has a lot to do with let's go with sandy hook in connecticut Sandy Hook in Connecticut, there was a deranged kid that had a lot of mental issues and had illegal firearms and found his way around it. And Connecticut's one of those states that is heavy on gun violence when it comes to they ban guns and they have a lot higher of a crime rate now because they did ban guns for a short period of time. Every state that has banned guns in their past has only caused bigger problems when it comes to that. If we move on to Florida, which is a southern ruby red state, typically, you end up having higher crime rates after you ban guns and then they loosened their gun laws, which they enacted something that is called a right to carry, which means that they are allowed to carry, conceal carry, without getting a permit and they are allowed to go through training and everything and still get that permit without officially getting a permit. They don't have to go through the process. They just have to take some training and that's it. But that is a good process because you get trained how to use your gun, you get trained how to use everything that you need. And that is why there's a lot less crime rate down there. Now, when it comes to school shootings and the reasoning on why people should have guns on campuses, I don't agree with a high schooler, maybe 18, but you're not old enough. I don't agree with that to carry even a shotgun or any sort of gun on campus. I believe in high schools or anything lower, it should be a teacher that carries at least one concealed carry teacher per school. And I think that it should be something along the lines of they keep it on them at all times. They Nobody knows who it is. And for example, in my last school, we had a teacher named Mr. Hanud. He was 6'9". He was probably the most manly man you could imagine. And he had a concealed carry license, and he concealed carried off school. I think that he should have personally concealed carry on school and protected our school. We did have one bomb threat and a few other school shooting threats throughout the years. If I had him there, I really would have felt safe and I would have felt happy. Um, that is a big example in why I'm saying maybe not me when I was in high school carrying a gun because I was immature and everybody in high school is immature. But I think a teacher should. I think a teacher should be able to conceal carry. I think they should be able to carry and protect their kids and their students. And if that tragic event were to happen, they'd be able to protect them. Now, when it goes to college, once again, I really don't suggest having a shotgun or some big, big clunky weapon. I think having a pistol, if you go through the process, get your concealed carry permit, get your concealed carry license, and then you move on and you are able to conceal carry or open carry even, I'm okay with that, on school property as a college student, I think you should be more than willing and capable and able to. When it comes to teachers, I think teachers should be able to do the same exact thing. I don't think that there should be any restrictions to that. I think having guns on property, on school property, is a big, big driving factor 
when it comes to safety of schools. Safety of schools is a big, big thing when it comes to me. I think if I go to college and I am sitting there in class and somebody says, hey, there's a school shooter, I wanna be able to draw my pistol and be able to defend myself and my fellow classmates without having to worry about it. Also not to mention, it is proven that if people are typically owning guns on school property and people know that there's school, uh, there's guns on school property, they're not gonna go attack. They're not gonna go attack this place. They don't, you don't see many people attacking public events other than the Las Vegas shooting was a tragic uh, story, but it's something that he f was really far away and he found a way around everything and he got illegal bump stocks and he got illegal, he illegally modified his guns to be automatic. We don't, you're not allowed to own a automatic gun. And that is a big difference between owning a little handgun that is, you know, there to protect you or a fully automatic gun that is there to kill masses, which is what our military owns. They have the automatic guns to go out and clear an area and do their own little thing. Now, when it comes to Washington, D.C., you can see they enacted a ban law on the guns and then they re redact, uh, retracted that law and now their crime rate is going down again. There's a big difference when it comes to that. And then if we move on to the next one, England and Wales, this is out of country. They have only banned, they have never stopped banning guns. And it shows because they have a increasing crime rate throughout the years. And that has only increased throughout the years. A lot of their things are not to do with guns. It's a lot of knife and, you know, attacking things. But otherwise, you can see that it, it shows throughout different countries and throughout different people. I am a responsible gun owner. I don't expect you to carry a gun if you're not comfortable with it. But if you do... I strongly suggest that we allow people to go on school campuses with guns, with permits, with the ability to understand a gun and control a gun, and then we can have protection on school campuses as well. Thank you for watching. I hope I persuade you in any sort of way, um, whether that be against it or towards it, but I hope that you are with me on this, and I hope we can keep our schools safe. Thank you.